Hey guys and girls, JK here from GPU Mafia. Today we will be looking at the Bikes Key 240mm all-in-one cooler. First of all, I would like to thank Bikes Key South Africa for sending out the cooler for us to test. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. <clears throat> so let's take a look. Um, first of all, uh, the box pretty decent, rather soft though, but we'll see how the packaging looks inside. Back has a few details on the cooler, um, not really that much to tell. Um, works for Intel and AMD, um, but that's expected. And then, yeah, let's, let's see what's inside. Okay, so inside you get the this cardboard holder where everything fits in. Let's just get that out of the way. So let's take a look at what you actually get with. So first of all, okay, so I see you get all your mounting the hardware. Seems let's actually open this up. Just move that a little bit. So you get your backplate for your Intel. Then a few mounting screws, not hundred percent sure where that comes in yet. Um, more mounting brackets. Uh, I think these two are for mounting with on an Intel motherboard and then these two should be for the AMD motherboard. Then you get your standoffs of some sort, Not, we'll see where that goes in. And then a few more extras, a few screws, a few more standoffs. Um, yeah, we'll see where all of that fits once the, once we actually put it in, which we will be doing a time lapse of the install of the cooler. Then that's a lot of cables. Let's uh, get your two fans, 120 millimeters, um, with yeah you get a pwm signal for them so you can actually change the rpm of the fans and then you get your normal addressable rgb plugs on the on the uh, fans itself seems like you plug the one fan into the other one and then you connect the cable to your motherboard okay so that's the fans okay let's see what else is here Okay, right, so little instruction booklet. Oh. Not really a lot of writing, more just pictures showing you how to do everything. Um, this seems to be for Intel, the mounting for Intel, and then the sides, the mounting for AMD. No, it's Intel. Yeah, it's Intel. And then, yeah, they just show you how you connect the whole RGB um, LEDs of the fans. And also, there's also RGB fans on the pump. So, yeah, it looks pretty simple. And then, what everyone's been waiting for. Oh, wait, there's actually more. You get this little wire I'm assuming not sure oh it's actually got buttons at the back so it seems like a little controller that you can use to control the colors of the fans as well instead of the motherboard I'm assuming and then finally we get to the actual cooler um, which again has your connector for the pump 
and then also your RGB connector for your well the or the fan the ah, the RGB lighting on the pump itself. And yeah, it looks pretty decent. It's got a little bit of dust from the cardboard on it, but it's nothing a little wipe down can't fix. The tubing is pretty thin, um, but pretty flexible as well, with, um, in my opinion, a pretty nice sleeve over it, which is definitely a bonus. Um, does not come with pre-applied thermal paste though, and also, no thermal paste is included, so you will have to take that into consideration when buying this. You will have to put your own thermal paste onto the pump there. And then let's see the radiator. Has a little thing there. Not too sure what that's for. Um, I'm assuming it's for filling. I'm not sure how that um, that, that joins in with everything. Radiator is pretty thin, it's not a super thick radiator, but in my experience with some of the cases, um, the if you want to mount the radiator on top, it's actually beneficial not to have a very thick radiator, as a lot of the cases do not have that much, that much space at the top for the radiator. But overall quality looks amazing. I, I'll be able to expand about that a little bit more once I actually build the system. But so far, I must say I'm happy with the, the overall quality of everything. Also, we will also be looking at the lighting and um, just the general function of the, the radiator. So yeah, um, we will be adding a few benchmarks now to, we compared it to the AMD Wraith Spire Cooler, the normal one that comes with the 2600X. Um, so yeah.